these are the steps for converting a non-CDB into a pluggable container. The non-CDB's data files must be registered in the control file of the contained database. During that process, various objects are discarded from the non-CDB. Its control file is discarded because the contained database has its own control file that manages the entire container database. The undo table space is discarded because the CDB already has an undo table space and a PDB uses that one. It does not have its own undo table space. Lastly, we discard the online reader log because the reader log is already there in the container database. A pluggable container does not have its own reader log. Then there is quite a slow process that takes a few minutes. The data dictionary of the pluggable container has to have all the Oracle supplied objects removed and replaced with pointers to the copies of the Oracle supplied objects that exist in the CDB. That's quite a long process as we pass right through the data dictionary of the newly plugged in database, adjusting it to run correctly in the multi-tenant environment. And finally, we have to propagate objects from the root container into the new pluggable database. These will be common objects such as users and roles. These are the steps we have to follow to plug in a database. First, connect to the non-CDB and open it read-only. Your downtime begins now. Then we generate an XML file that describes the non-CDB. It will have details of the physical structures, the data files, details of what's actually installed within that database, and some information about the instance as well. Third step, go to the container database, the CDB, and check that XML file for plugin violations. Have a good long look at that XML file and see if there are any incompatibilities, such as versions perhaps, that would mean the plugin would fail. And assuming that's okay, we then run the XML file to plug in the database. That whole process is only a couple of minutes. Then the slow part, we go back to the newly plugged in database and convert its data dictionary to run in the multi-tenant environment. So those are the steps. Let's do them.